Good morning, everybody. Welcome back into North Dakota today. Well, Fargo Park District and River Keepers are partnering together for the Reforest the Red event. Sam Demera and Christine Holland are joining us to share more about this event. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, thank you for being here. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about Reforest the Red and its primary goals? Yeah, Reforest the Red is really a project we've been working on for maybe 25 years mm -hmm. or more, and the primary goal is just to get some new trees and back in the urban forest in the riparian corridor for lots of different reasons, um, you know, help with flooding and erosion mm -hmm. and water quality in the Red River. Yeah, definitely. So why is volunteer participation so crucial for this event? It really helps build community mm -hmm. and brings people to maybe parks they haven't been in. Yeah and it lets them enjoy a, the river that mm -hmm. they might not have been by before. Um, businesses love to send their employees for team building. Yep. <laughs> and everybody loves trees. Yeah. So it's also good for mental and physical health. <laughs> yeah, and who doesn't want to get outside sometimes too? I love how you mentioned, you know, coworkers coming out and getting their hands dirty together. I bet that's a lot of fun. Yes, and you know, we even love to, we always say two to 92 because even yeah. if the two-year-old can't plant trees, they're getting their hands dirty yep. and getting that first experience of being out in nature and hopefully volunteering for the rest of their lives. Yeah, definitely. So what will volunteers be doing during the event? Yeah, primarily they'll show up and we'll give them a little training on how to plant a tree, you know, mm -hmm. make sure the, the roots go on the ground and then they'll go out and just work together on planting as many trees as they can. We've got 600 large trees and about 3,000 small, smaller trees and shrubs, so. Wow, okay, so this is, you know, kind of a heavy undertaking, but I bet more hands make less work, right? <laughs> For sure, that's, you know, the park district staff Go could on. do it, but it's, we get a lot more done mm -hmm. when the community helps. Yeah, Definitely. Most of the time we uh, try to figure out how to not run out of trees, so yep. we get a lot of people out there and it goes quick. Yeah, definitely. So what impact have past Reforest the Red events had on the health of the Red River and also the community? So the Red River is our drinking water source, so mm -hmm. we want to protect that. And the trees provide um, great benefits for bank stability. They've mm -hmm. got root systems that are helping slow down the stormwater runoff to their um, helping with erosion and they're also providing recreation space for people. You know, people like to ride along the riverfront paths because the trees provide shade, yep. provides a windbreak, you can see some wildlife. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So we mentioned coworkers coming out, but can families or other groups volunteer together for this event? Yeah, so anybody can come out. We have a sign up genius. You can get that from either one of our websites. Mm -hmm. Um, that say the openings and yes we let have Boy Scouts that come out with their families and um, that's why we're there from five to seven is for some of those families to be able to come as well. Yeah definitely so are there any ways that the community can get involved even if they can't work this particular event? Yeah you know we have this particular event but really the Fargo Parks and River Keepers works together throughout the year to help find projects for smaller groups that can't make this particular event mm -hmm. and we're, we're always open to trying to find a way to get volunteers active in the parks and the river system. Yeah, definitely. So looking to more long term, what do you guys both hope that the benefits of events like this will have on the Fargo-Moorhead community? I just think, you know, as far as sustainability with our, our natural environment and conservation is really driven by the community. If the community cares, it'll create a longer lasting effect, you know, decision making and things that happen in different projects or construction throughout town. But if the community really cares about mm -hmm. conservation and keeping these natural and, and green spaces healthy, then that's going to make a bigger impact, you know, for years to come. Yeah, what about for you, Christine? Yeah, and Sam and I were just talking about emerald ash borer before this. So, mm -hmm. you know, these types of tree plantings really help with tree species yeah. diversity and so it's really helpful for that as well. Yeah, absolutely. So if, you know, talking specifically to people at home, why would you really urge them to come out to this event? It's a really fun event. We get a lot of positive feedback. Um, some of the businesses even have lotteries because they have so many other oh, employees wow. that want to come <laughs> and they can't let them all come. <laughs> yeah, someone's got to be in the office, huh? <laughs> yeah, so it's a lot of fun. Anything else? Yeah, it's just a great way. Sometimes, you know, it might be that young kid that gets to plant their first tree, and then mm -hmm. we've got school groups that come out and they just have a blast. So, um, 
really all these tree planting events, everyone just seems to be in a, a great mood and that's a way to give back to the community and maybe go back 5, 10, 20 years from now mm -hmm. and see the impact they made. Yeah, and why not, you know, take this opportunity while the weather is still nice to get outside, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, okay, one more time, how can we find more information? Either riverkeepers.org, um, and we do have a Reforest the Red Facebook event as well. Okay. Or fargoparks.com. Yep. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you both so much for being here this morning. Thank you. Yeah, yeah thank you for the opportunity. I yes, appreciate it. of course. All right, everybody at home, stick around because coming up on today's show, we have your daily dose of motivation.